Hey everyone, Dave from Repairs Rule. So what I'm working on today is my Craftsman Walk Behind String Trimmer. The belt broke. There's not a lot online that I've found showing how to replace that. So I thought I'd just shoot a quick video for you. Just stay tuned. So what happened here is out the trimming and this cover vibrated loose came off and I didn't stop right away and put it back on, which I should have done. And the next big weeds I hit, weed caught, went up underneath and broke the belt off. So now I get to uh, replace the belt. So let's get it up here on my lift and uh, I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so to get started, what we're gonna do is pop this cover back off. There's one screw at the front, take that loose, and it just slides off. Next up, we have two screws on this cover. There's one here in the back on both sides, so we'll get those off. Now we're gonna remove this front plate here, and we have four bolts to do that. We have two on this side, here, here, and two on the other side. So I'll get those off and this entire unit here will slide out, exposing the rest of the pulleys and the tension for the belt. Okay, so with the front panel off, you can see our motor pulley here in the back. And this is our belt tensioner. So when this spring that goes up to the handle pulls, it's going to put tension on the belt, thus causing the trimmer to spin. So let me get this routed on here and I'll show you how that looks. Before I get routed on here, I wanted to explain that this belt is kind of difficult to find the right one for this uh, string trimmer. This is a Craftsman, and it's a six horsepower Briggs & Stratton motor. Uh, the model of this is 917.773701, and I located this belt before and uh, it works great on this on this mower. The link for this is in the description below. So as you can see, I had to remove this idler pulley off Put the belt in behind the keeper and then the belt slides into this pulley here so when the spring pulls on it it will pull it around and tighten up the belt so now we're going to lift that front plate back up into place and start two of our bolts By the way, if you're interested in the drills and so on that I use, I've had these for a while. I've got a whole set of the Bosch 12 volt. I mean, I really like these. This is the driver. This is the hammer driver. Uh, I use it probably the most, but I also have this 
um, and the uh, drill driver, I think is what they call it, and then the drill style. But it uses a really small battery, little 12 volt battery. And I'll tell you what, this, uh, this driver, the impact driver, has got lots of power. So all that's left is for us to put our back screws in on both sides and then put our, our front cover on and we'll be ready to give it a shot. Okay, so now we're ready to fire this up. Um, a reminder on these, and I've had to replace belts before, that when it's new, it, it's tight. And the trimmer will actually still spin when you let off on the handle. That goes away quickly after a, one use. It will stop. When you let off of the handle, the trimmer will stop. Um, another thing I wanted to point out, that belt is not an easy one to locate. So this is the correct belt, and I have a link for it in the description below. If you like this kind of information, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us a bunch. So let me fire this thing up, and uh, we'll see if we've got this going. So we have our belt replaced and everything is working fine. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.